name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today's Wednesday. Uh, we're just one week away from Ash Wednesday, believe it or not. But we have a feast day, a memorial of uh, St. Polycarp. He was a bishop and a martyr. And he lived really, really early, like uh, in the 100s. And he actually knew the Apostle John. And so he was like a follower of the Apostle John. And then St. Irenaeus knew Polycarp. And so that chain of succession from the Apostles to the early bishops, uh, we actually can follow that. It's so cool. Uh, of course, Irenaeus is one of my favorites. And Polycarp is as well. Uh, just from the earliest times, he, tell us, he tells us what the church was like in his day. And so that we can prepare our hearts uh, to embrace these holy martyrs, these wonderful bishops from the centuries uh, when the church was just starting out. Let us call to mind how far we are from them. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the bishop, St. Polycarp, a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession that sharing with him the chalice of Christ, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. <clears throat> Excuse me. To the angel of the church in Smyrna, write this, The first and the last, who once died but came to life, says this, I know your tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. I know the slander of those who claim to be Jews, and they're not, but rather are members of the assembly of Satan. Do not be afraid of anything that you are going to, su that you are going to suffer. Indeed, the devil will throw some of you into prison that you may be tested, and you will face an ordeal for ten days. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The victor shall not be harmed by the second death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Thanks, O Lord, I commend my spirit. spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, I commend, commend my spirit. spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, I commend, commend my spirit. spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, Into O Lord, Lord, I commend my, my spirit. spirit. you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord to you, O Lord. Lord be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world will love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, I have chosen you out of the world. The world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, 
because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I was kind of excited when I was listening to Cindy start that first reading. It's in the book of Revelation, so John's writing, and it's about the time Polycarp is Bishop of Smyrna, and it says, to the church at Smyrna, write this. Uh, and it talks about this horrible persecution that's going to come. Polycarp was part of that. Now, Polycarp was bishop for a long time, and he uh, was in his mid-80s when he was martyred, maybe late 80s, but he um, had served Christ his whole life. And so they tried to get him to renounce the faith so that he wouldn't be martyred, so that he could live. And he said, are you kidding me? I've served the Lord for 86 years. You think I'm going to renounce him at the end of it all? Heavens no. I do what you've got to do. I'm a follower and a believer in our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, let us say uh, with Polycarp to the world, do what you got to do, but we, as for my household, we will serve the Lord. That's our faith, isn't it? And what a wonderful faith we have. And now let us pray for our church and for our world. For our church, that we might be faithful like the early church, like the early martyrs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, uh, that they might uh, come to see and know Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy Redeemer, that we might bear uh, the burdens of Christ, that we might bear the marks of Christ in our lives, and that it would be a light to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they might see the face of God this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who grieve, that they might be consoled by the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unspoken prayers of all who are watching this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those in need, Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Thus be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Polycarp, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness, through Christ our Lord, and so with the powers of heaven. We worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the 
fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross Amen. and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our mm -hmm. Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe, from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you. A new day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new day, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacea. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. What a word of Jesus Christ can be saved for eternal life.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.